Hello and Namaste. You are watching CVR English and I am Sandeep. Today marks the 100 days since the NDA government or the Grand Alliance government took over the reins of Andhra Pradesh after storming to a historic victory in 2024 assembly elections in which the tri-party coalition led by Telugu Desam Party, Janasena and Bharatiya Janata Party romped put home with a thumping majority of 164 seats out of 175 tally. Chandrababu Naidu was sworn in as the Chief Minister of the State on June 12th along with his Cabinet Ministers including Deputy Chief Minister Pawan Karjan. This program is dedicated to the events that led to the victory of Chandrababu Naidu led NDA Alliance in Andhra Pradesh and the journey of these 100 days and the celebrations involved in it. Let's watch it. <laughs> Nara Chandra Babu Naidu ane nenu Andhra Pradesh Rashtra Mukhya Mantri ga pramanan jaisunnan Fifteen thousand crore rupees will be arranged at e early completion of the Ponavaram irrigation project, kare. which is the lifeline for Andhra Pradesh. Madi, simple governance, simple government, effective governance. Santosh, mana santosh. BJP ne gorlo opinchi alliance leg dastaon chipe na vikti pawan kalle ne gar. On November 19, 2021, Telugu Desam Party President Chandrababu Naidu made an emotional exit from Andhra Pradesh Legislative Assembly, vowing to re-enter again only after returning to power. 31 months later, Naidu fulfilled his vow and returned to the State Assembly as the Chief Minister. Chandrababu Naidu, who was the leader of opposition in 2021, had said that he was pained by the continuous slur on him and by the then ruling YSR Congress members, making a reference to the epic Mahabharat. Naidu had pointed out that even Lord Krishna could not stop the Kauravas from hurling gross insults at Draupadi. In this Kaurava Sabha of YSRCP, there is no respect for elected representatives of the people, he said, and he exit from the assembly, vowing that he will return to the house only as the chief minister, and he did the same. Nara Chandra Babu Naidu ane nenu Sasanam Dwara Nirmita Maina Bharata Rajangam Patla Nijamaina Viswasam Videta Chupatanani Bharata Desha Sarva Bauma Dikarani Samakratanu Kaparatanani Andhra Pradesh Rashtra Mukhya Mantriga Nakarta Vyaranu Sreddato Antakarana Sudito Nirva Histanani Bayangani Pachapatangani Ragat Veshalagani Lekunda Rajangani Tasanal Anusarinti Rajalandar Kunyayam Sekurastanani Daiva Satchiga Pramanan Jesunan
నారా చంద్రబాబు నాయుడు అని నేను శాసనం ద్వారా నిర్మితమైన భారత రాజ్యాంగం పట్ల నిజమైన విశ్వాసం విధేయత చూపుతానని భారతదేశ సార్వభౌమాధికారాన్ని సమగ్రతను కాపాడుతానని ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ రాష్ట్ర ముఖ్యమంత్రిగా నా కర్తవ్యాలను శ్రద్ధతో అంతఃకరణ శుద్ధితో నిర్వహిస్తానని భయం కానీ పక్షపాతం కానీ రాగద్వేషాలు కానీ లేకుండా రాజ్యాంగాన్ని శాసనాలను అనుసరించి ప్రజలందరికీ న్యాయం చేకూరుస్తానని దైవ సాక్షిగా ప్రమాణం చేస్తున్నాను Thirty one months back, he has exited from the assembly. But the most important event that has taken place in the Andhra Pradesh politics was exactly one year back, that is in September 2023, when Chandra Babu Naidu was arrested and sent for judicial custody with a 371 crore corruption scam in which he was accused of masterminding conspiracy to divert money meant to train the unemployed youth. The case involves Andhra Pradesh State Skill Development Corporation that was established when Mr. Naidu's Telugu Desam party was in power. Mr. Naidu, who was taken to the jail in Rajamandri, was produced before an anti-corruption court in Vijayawada amid tight security. The veteran politician told that he had been falsely implicated and this has caused a political stir in the entire state of Andhra Pradesh and not only in the state of Andhra Pradesh. The TDP cadre has come all together wherever they are, be it in Hyderabad, be it in rest of Telangana, be it in rest of India and even in America and Europe, all the TDP cadre and even the Chandra Babu Naidu's personal fans have all come together, organized huge rallies, huge so many things that it has created a political stir. And in this, a very important event has taken place that Janasena Chief Pawan Kalyan, who is already in alliance with the BGP, has given his complete support to the TDP chief and brought the three parties together. And this has created the new grand alliance comprising the TDP, BJP and the Janasena party. Nara Chandrababu Naidu Vante, Desam Garvin Chadaka Oka Rajaki Anaykudu. రాజకి ఏమంటే ప్రజా జీవితాలను వెలుగుబాట పట్టించడమని నమ్మిన దార్శనికుడు ఆయన తన అనుభవాన్ని మేధస్సును తెలుగు జాతి అభ్యున్నతి కోసం రాష్ట్ర ప్రయోజనాల కోసం తప్ప స్వప్రయోజనాల కోసం ఎన్నడూ ఉపయోగించని నిస్వార్థ రాజకీయ నాయకుడు చంద్రబాబు విజయవాడ వరద బాధితులకు అండగా ఎనిమిది రోజులుగా విశ్రాంతి లేకుండా ఉంటే బస్సులు లేదంటే బాధితుల మధ్య ఉంటున్న చంద్రబాబు గారి గురించి అంటే ఆలోచించగలం అటువంటి చంద్రబాబు గారిపై అధికారం మదంతో కళ్లు మూసుకుపోయిన ఒక ఉన్మాది కక్షగట్టాడు తన అధికారాన్ని దుర్వినియోగం చేస్తూ చంద్రబాబు గారిపై స్కిల్ డెవలప్మెంట్ స్కామ్ అంటూ అక్రమ కేసు పెట్టి రెండు వేల ఇరవై మూడు సెప్టెంబర్ తొమ్మిదిన నంద్యాలలో అరెస్టు చేసి డెబ్బై మూడేళ్ల వయసున్న ఆయన్ను ఇచ్చకుండా విచారణ పేరుతో రాత్రంతా సిఐడి ఆఫీసులో కూర్చోడు ఆ తర్వాత యాభై మూడు రోజుల పాటు జైల్లో నిర్బంధించారు తన అరాచకాలను అధికారం ముసుగులో ప్రజలకు చేస్తున్న ద్రోహాన్ని ప్రశ్నించినందుకు చంద్రబాబు గారిపై జగన్ అనే ఒక నేరగాడు తీర్చుకున్న కక్ష ఇది చంద్రబాబు గారి అరెస్టుతో దేశంలోని కొన్ని కోట్ల హృదయాలు బరువెక్కాయి కుల మత ప్రాంత వర్గ భేదం లేకుండా తెలుగు జాతి ఆ అరెస్టును నిరసిస్తూ ఆందోళనకు దిగింది తెలుగు రాష్ట్రాలలోనే కాదు ప్రపంచ వ్యాప్తంగా డెబ్బై దేశాల్లో ప్రజలు రోడ్డెక్కి నిరసన తెలిపారు జగన్ పతనానికి బీజం పడిందని ఆరోజే ప్రజాస్వామ్య వాదులంతా జోస్యం చెప్పారు ఏ రోజు కూడా చంద్రబాబు గారి రాజకీయ జీవితం గురించి కానీ రాజకీయాల గురించి కానీ ఒక్క మాట కూడా మాట్లాడని నారా భువనేశ్వరి గారు భర్త ఆరోగ్యం గురించి ఆయన ప్రాణాల గురించి కలవర పట్టారు రాజమండ్రి జైలు నుంచే నిజం గెలవాలి అంటూ ప్రజల మద్దతుకు వెళ్లారు యావత్ మహిళా లోకం ఆమెకు అండగా నిలిచింది 
చివరికి నిజమే గెలిచింది జైలు నుంచి బెయిల్పై బయటకు వచ్చిన చంద్రబాబు గారు తిరిగి తన ప్రజల్లోకి వెళ్లి జగన్ అరాచకాలను రెట్టించిన స్వరంతో ప్రశ్నించారు ప్రజల్లో చైతన్యం కల్పించారు ఫలితంగా ప్రజలు కూటమికి చారిత్రాత్మక గెలుపునిచ్చారు జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డికి రాజకీయంగా సమాధి కట్టారు నిజాన్ని గెలిపించారు వరద బాధల్లో ఉన్న ప్రజల గురించి తప్పిస్తూ పగలు రాత్రి తేడా తెలియకుండా కష్టపడుతున్న చంద్రబాబు గారికి సరిగ్గా ఏడాది క్రితం తాను అనుభవించిన మానసిక క్షోభను గుర్తు తెచ్చుకునేంత తీరికలేకపోవచ్చు ఒక ఋషిలా తన ప్రజాసేవలో నిమగ్నమై ఉండిపోవచ్చు కానీ తెలుగు ప్రజలు ఈ రోజును అంతా తేలిగ్గా నిజమే గెలిచింది నారా చంద్రబాబు నాయుడు అంటే దేశం గర్వించదగ్గ ఒక రాజకీయ నాయకుడు Chandrababu Naidu was finally released on bail and immediately after his bail he participated in the political events according to the conditions given by the court. On the other hand, Janasena chief Pawan Kalyan has brought all the parties together that is the BJP, TDP and the Janasena and finally this particular alliance was fixed. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chandrababu Naidu and Janasena chief Pawan Kalyan after a long time shared a dials after a decade at a public meeting in Chalakuluri paid on March 17th. This alliance has launched the campaign for Andhra Assembly and Lok Sabha elections. The TDP, Janasena and the BJP last shared the stage in 2014. Janasena had not contested then in 2014 but has given an open support to the BJP and the TDP but later all the three parties have parted their ways but back in 2024 almost after a decade all the three parties have come together in the form of a grand alliance or the NDA alliance and Janasena has not contested the elections earlier but Kapoor Kalyan has later contested in 2019 but did not fill won any seat but in 2024 elections the complete things have changed they have won a thumping victory And now comes the most crucial part which is the seat sharing. The seat sharing agreement among the three NDA partners was announced and TDP has contested 144 out of 175 assembly seats and 17 out of 25 Lok Sabha seats. It left 21 assembly segments and 8 Lok Sabha seats for the two alliances. The Grand Alliance has recorded a tremendous victory winning 164 seats limiting YCP to just 11, only 11. Janasena recorded 100% victory by winning all the 21 assembly seats and two parliamentary seats that it has contested and this probably has never done before. Janasena party has won 100 out of 100% wherever it has contested. <laughs> శాసనం ద్వారా నిర్మితమైన భారత రాజ్యాంగం పట్ల నిజమైన విశ్వాసం విధేయత చూపుతానని భారతదేశ సార్వభౌమాధికారాన్ని సమగ్రతను కాపాడుతానని ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ రాష్ట్ర ముఖ్యమంత్రిగా నా కర్తవ్యాలను శ్రద్ధతో అంతఃకరణ శుద్ధితో నిర్వహిస్తానని భయం కాని పక్షపాతం కాని రాగద్వేషాలు కాని లేకుండా 
రాజ్యాంగాన్ని శాసనాలు అనుసరించి ప్రజలందరికీ న్యాయం చేకూరుస్తానని దైవ సాక్షిగా ప్రమాణం చేస్తున్నాను నేను నారా చంద్రబాబు నాయుడు అనే నేను ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ రాష్ట్ర ముఖ్యమంత్రిగా నా పరిశీలనకు వచ్చిన లేదా నాకు తెలియవచ్చిన ఏ విషయాన్ని నా కర్తవ్యాలను సక్క Thus, finally, Chandrababu Naidu has taken oath as the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh for the fourth time. Twice he was the Chief Minister for the United Andhra Pradesh and the second time for the residual Andhra Pradesh. And Deputy CM is allotted to Pawan Kalyan. Pawan Kalyan has become the Deputy Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh and this particular function was recited by none other than the Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. Immediately after taking the oath as Chief Minister, Chandrababu Naidu started his new innings with a fire when he signed five crucial files as promised before the polls. Notification to fill up the teacher posts through Mega DSC, conduction of the skill census to create employment opportunities, repeal of the controversial Land Titling Act, enhancement of the pension from 3,000 to 4,000 and reopening of Anna Cantons. In no time, three of these decisions have been implemented, the revised pension among along with areas as promised was credited on July 1st and this was a big relief to all the senior citizens throughout Andhra Pradesh. The distribution of pensions is being handled effectively without volunteers and in some places the leaders like Chandrababu Naidu, Nara Lokesh themselves have gone to the homes of the senior citizens to give the checks and the most important crucial thing that has happened is Anna canteens that were closed by the previous government Anna candies are being operated across the state and they are reopening. And Land Titling Act has been scrapped by the cabinet and a fresh survey was initiated. Among all these, reopening of the Anna canteen has brought a cheer for all the below middle class working people especially. Just now. ఎన్నికల ఇచ్చిన హామీని తూచా తప్పకుండా అమలు చేస్తున్నారు ఉదయం ముప్పై ఐదు వేల మందికి అల్పాహారం మధ్యాహ్నం ముప్పై ఐదు వేలు రాత్రి మరో ముప్పై ఐదు వేల మందికి ఆహారం అందించనున్నారు ఒక్కొక్కరి నుంచి పూటకు ఐదు రూపాయల చొప్పున నామమాత్రపు ధర వసూలు చేస్తారు సీఎం చంద్రబాబు గుడివాడలో మొదటి అన్న క్యాంటీన్ ను ప్రారంభించారు రెండు వేల పద్నాలుగు పంతొమ్మిది మధ్య టీడీపీ ప్రభుత్వం నిర్వహించిన అన్న క్యాంటీన్లను గత వైసీపీ ప్రభుత్వం మూసివేసింది అధికారంలోకి వచ్చాక అన్న క్యాంటీన్లను అందుబాటులోకి తీసుకొస్తామని హామీని కూటమి ప్రభుత్వం నిలబెట్టుకుంది రెండు వందల మూడు క్యాంటీన్లు ఒకేసారి ప్రారంభించాలని మొదట భావించారు a week of resuming the office as the chief minister he went around amravati where he worked on the capital came to a grinding halt in 2019 after ysr congress party government decided to develop three state capitals reversing the decision of the earlier tdp government to build amravati as the sole capital Naidu began his visit from Praja Vedika, a building demolished by the previous government headed by Jagan Mohan Reddy in 2019. He saw the debris of the structure built by him close to his official residence when he was the chief minister between 2014 to 2019. <laughs> Later on, Mr. Naidu inspected the Polyvaran project and reviewed the progress of ongoing works. He conducted an aerial survey of the site. The Chief Minister said about 70% of the project was completed during the TDP government between 2014 and 2019. The YSRCP government not only failed to complete the remaining work but also pushed the project into a limbo. Had the works not been suspended for over a year on the account of reverse tendering, change of contractor, etc., the Bolivaran project would have completed by now, he said. And he given the name of AP, 
not only as Andhra Pradesh but also AP means Amravati and Polavaram and he vowed that he will be completing both the things. Polavaram project Purta Yunte Rastamalo Chala work of Subishanga Subishanga on Darika Okasam of Chedi Polavaram Rastrani Kokavaram Polavaram Purta Yi Nadula Nusandan and Jesse Y Rastamalo Karuane Matunda Kanya Polavaran Gudamunchis are Durmargud Chala Kasapani Nete Polam Somavaram Polavaranga Jeskuni Besides these achievements, Nadu government received a big boost from the center in the form of financial support of Polaran project and Amaravati capital construction. This is one of the biggest takeaways from the NDA government in these 100 days. Both of these projects will have a huge impact on the aspirations of the state. Amidst all this, the NDA government also took some other key decisions, including the formulation of the new sand policy and the new liquor policy. While the new sand policy received a mixed response due to the alleged liquoralities at all the levels in its supply, the new liquor policy will be enforced from October 1st and all eyes are on how will the government handle the sale of the liquor in the next five years. We will facilitate fi special financial support through multilateral development agencies. In the current financial year, 15,000 crore rupees will be arranged with additional amounts in future years. Our government is fully committed to financing and early completion of the Polavaram Irrigation Project, which is the lifeline, which is the lifeline for Andhra Pradesh and its farmers. This will facilitate our country's food security as well. The NDI Alliance under Chandra Babu Naidu rule has completed 100 days. Chandra Babu fulfilled most of his promises. He took key decisions as assured in the election campaign. In these 100 days, which is very short to assess a new regime, Naidu government lived up to the expectations of the people of the Andhra Pradesh by fulfilling a few promises made during the election campaign and gave a big hope on the state is back on the track in the right direction after languishing in several aspects in last five years. However, Chandra Babu Naidu has to face a big challenge in the form of a flood which drowned the most important city in Andhra Pradesh, Vijayawada. Chandra Babu Naidu rule continued for 100 days with fulfilling the main factors. The 100 day coalition rule lasted without any internal disputes. There was no party infer interference, no governance, ruled with the coordination of the three parties with any disputes. Taking key decisions in the first month, Chandra Babu took steps towards the development while providing the welfare schemes. However, this particular development has come to a little pause in the form of flood in Vijayawada.
In this hundred days, Chandrababu faced the biggest challenge in the form of the cyclones and the floods in the state, which has come in handy during the latest flood that wrecked havoc in Vijayawada and its surroundings. Right from the day one, Naidu led battle from the front to tackle the crisis arising out of the floods. Krishna River at Prasakasam Barrage in Vijayawada received the largest ever inflow of 11.49 lakh cusex in the past 170 years in Budameru River on northern side that caused the biggest devastation in the city after 1964. And on the other hand, Naidu cancelled all his programs and focused on reviewing the situation in various parts of the state and also the relief measures being taken up. He visited the few rain affected areas of Vijayawada to oversee the relief work. To mitigate the damage, the Chief Minister announced an increase in ex ratio payments for crop loss from 17,000 per hectare under the previous government to 25,000 per hectare. Additionally, 10,000 per acre will be paid for paddy crop losses. And since 70% of the cultivators in the region are tenant farmers, Naidu assured that the input subsidy would be directly credited into their accounts and that all the extra ratio would be made as soon as possible. Already with his experience, Chandrababu Naidu is trying to bring change in the government systems and gain people's trust. They are attracting the public in the name of the simple government, effective governance. Chandrababu Naidu said that he wishes the combination of these three parties to the permanent. Chandrababu said that he would also say that we will do in the future. He suggested that 20 lakh jobs will be provided in five years and those who make mistakes will be punished according to the law. Chandrababu Naidu said that the 100-day rule should be explained to the people. This responsibility lies with the alliance leaders. And on the other hand, Deputy Chief Minister Pawan Kalyan is impressed than expected with Chandrababu Naidu's governance. He said that he is very happy to work under Chandrababu Naidu's leadership. <laughs> the welfare. He said that CM Chandrababu is a visionary and will continue to protect the unity. Chandrababu said that one is surprised to see his knowledge and patience. Anni Basalu are in a meeting with Gosan Ravali. Adawal at the Sage Chagawa Chukuchara Matlar Tunar. Eoma Putlo Yapurana Milo, Naumo Konsusana, and Gutana Mimalandarni. Sage Savundani Mimaladagutana Mimalni. Balawan Tanga Dakra Sangalni. Balavantanga Discochi, Pedda Pedda meeting Lavetti, Ode Veninti signed Ravaku make a punishment teacher Rosalavi, A Rosalan Nai Penai, O Sarne Jusian, Ochenawa Lilipota on Te, Pakar Gotul de Vea or Paripokunda, Idi Praja Samiva, like but a dictator Samiva Nakaita or Tanga or Don Lady, Nenandikani. Nenu Gani, Mitra Pavan Kalanagaro Chandrado K. Marta Jepam Charles Pasta. The recent NDA meeting in Mangalgiri on the chairmanship of Chandra Babu Naidu, the programs to be undertaken by the NDA government is listed out on the occasion of the completion of the 100 days rule, and these were discussed. And according to this, from 28th to 26th of this month, MLS have made an activity to go door to door. The progress of 100 days rule will be taken to the people in the name of this is good government and Telugu it is called as Manchi Prabhutvam. In 100 days, many programs will be organized to explain the programs done by the central and the state governments to the people. <laughs> Pawan Kalyanagar Hyderabad ni chikrak Raval ante flight cancel ji sir. Yanta pattu dalon tunante flight mere cancel ji sir nim pole na anje pi neerga by road do chhad. Road lo usse nandiga malo matto road dan tablock chesi 
పక్కన తిరిగినా రానియకుండా చేస్తే రోడ్డు మీదనే పడుకొని ధర్నా చేశాడు మామూలుగా సినిమా వాళ్ళు ఇవన్నీ చేయరు సినిమా వాళ్ళు ఏదైనా చేస్తే షూటింగ్లు చేస్తారు తప్ప నిజ జీవితంలో చేయరు అలాంటి నిజ జీవితంలో పోరాట యోధుడిగా నిలబడ్డ మిత్రుడు పవన్ కళ్యాణ్ గారు నేను ఈరోజు కూడా చూస్తున్నాను రాజకీయాల్లో ఒక ఆశయం కోసం వచ్చాడు రెండు వేల పద్నాలుగు బాగా జ్ఞాపకం తెలుగుదేశం బిజెపి పొత్తు పెట్టుకున్నాం పొత్తు పెట్టుకున్న సందర్భంలో పోటీ చేయకుండా ఎన్డీఏ గెలవాలి ఇప్పుడు నేను పోటీ చేస్తే ప్రభుత్వ వ్యతిరేక ఓటు తీలుతుంది కాబట్టి how is the performance of this 100 day coalition government what has been achieved in these days will this massive majority go towards fulfilling the aspirations of the people let's be optimistic that this will continue to be the good period for the state of andhra pradesh and this is about the special bulletin about 100 days of the grand alliance in the state of andhra pradesh i am sandeep signing off keep watching cbn news english Thank <laughs> you.